Hello there, and welcome to this gameplay presentation of RH's Pepper Grinder, brought to you by the Devolver Digital Marketing Division. We just want to show you a few levels from Pepper Grinder so that you can see how the game is played. Uh, this first level, obviously, a water level. Uh, Pepper normally uses the drill to drill through solid materials, but here Pepper can use it as a propulsion device to move her through the water, or if she hits the boost just right, to skim along the top. see some more traditional movement through the sand, as well as the use of the grappling nodes. Root vegetables will provide you with health, and these lanterns are your checkpoints. I think it's really cute that the loot in this water level are cute little jellyfish crystals instead of just crystals. It's adorable. So one of the features of this area is that the volcano will fire off blasts of magma that then cool and become something we can dig through, and something that has crystals for us. Now there's a lot of loot in this game, and you can get most of it, but some of it is bait to trick you into dangerous situations. And uh, not all of them as obvious as that one. But there is lots to collect, and of course, uh, there are speedrun timers. After you've beaten a level, you can, uh, you can unlock the clock to see your time and get rewards for getting uh, quick completion times. Hey, mole friend. Hey. Next up, a more traditional level. This is going to be through a mountainous region, digging through rock. These beetles we meet earlier in the game, but now, when threatened, they will release a dangerous cloud of poison. This level sees a lot more use of the grappling notes as well. Thorns, dangerous but sometimes preferable to falling to your death. Digging underneath the guy with the flamethrower. A lot of fun. Again, you can see how someone with a speed running bent would get through that very quickly, but you don't have to do that sort of thing. You can take your time. Keep it quick and you bounce, you can stun them and prevent them from blasting poison right away.
Now you can see here we've picked up two of the golden skull coins, but only the first and fourth are marked up in the upper right hand of the screen there. This lets us know roughly where to look for those skull coins next time we play if we want to go and collect them. Uh, and fun fact, once you've collected them once, you never have to collect that particular skull coin again. Hey, there's the fifth. Alright, there's the second level, more traditional style. For this one, let's try something a little cooler. An ice stage with cannons. So these cannons are powered by your drill. Uh, you do not aim them yourself. They are aimed for you when you load into them. But as you will see in time, it becomes important when you release the cannon and launch. Excuse me, it's chilly. Using the cannon to get a little more firepower to get through the ice. Now we've unlocked a new mechanic of this stage. Or revealed the mechanic. A lot of the fun in this stage comes from making sure that you are spinning in the right direction on your grappling mode. I think we missed something special right here. Hopefully when you play, you can figure it out. It's all about the timing. And the accuracy. So now we're moving into a more advanced type of cannon where we need to time our shots more, more accurately. And that's it. Thank you for watching this gameplay presentation of Pepper Grinder, available March 28th, 2024 on PC and Nintendo Switch. Check it out.